Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Surgery on video. And today we're gonna see what happens if we fly a plane into a microburst. Isn't that amazing? Now, what is a microburst? A microburst is basically, uh, so normally a microburst occurs in a thunderstorm or in heavy rain. Basically, it is wind that goes down very quickly. Is that enough explanation? I don't know. So yeah, you'll see what I mean in a second. But what it basically is, it pushes the plane down or anything that is in the air, obviously. So yeah, let's go ahead and test what happens if we do fly into a microburst, which does happen and did happen before. And let's also do an ILS approach, also called auto land, and see how a computer handles a microburst or if it just dies. Right now we are in Southern Germany somewhere i don't even know all right let's just go ahead and do a normal landing let's go for stormy weather that is already a bit challenging all right we are approaching the airport in very stormy weather i don't feel comfortable this airport does have ILS, which gives us the ability to test auto land let's go oh wow oh wow what the hell Ouch, that was hard. That was... <clears throat> this did not happen. I'm sorry, passengers, for... Ouch. All right, after this was kind of successful, uh, let's try running into microburst. And also, let's see what I can do against that. So, to explain the simulator that I'm using, you can activate a microburst in the failure menu. Uh, let's just go ahead and land, shall we? And by the way, please subscribe to the channel if you are new. I don't know. So what happens right here is we gain a lot of speed, which caused a part of the wing to fall off. The flaps just fell off and um, we're dead. Uh, as you can see, we were about to crash then anyway, but then we also have the microburst pushing us down. Boom. All right, now let's try surviving. <laughs> also, please leave a like on this video and subscribe twice. Okay, let's try landing. All right, let's activate the microburst and we'll see the same thing happening again. We will gain a lot of speed first and then we will fall down. All right, as you can see, we're gaining a lot of speed. We are still flying. Let's go full power. Oh, wow, we're stalling out. 90 knots. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, let's try to get through this. Okay, stall recovery. That was quite close, but we made it. This is what I'm talking about. Normally, you would now go around and run away very quickly you can always go around but yeah we survived a microburst but you have to be very careful let's try the boeing sugar plane the boeing sugar plane is quite interesting it's only a concept plane but i want to try it anyway because it has really thick wings now something else that i'm gonna try next is a microburst after takeoff which also occurs a lot let's try auto land let's activate the autopilot and have this plane land, but then we'll have a microburst. Let's see how the autopilot reacts to that. Right now, the autopilot is controlling this aircraft. As you can see, it is following the ILS path. Now, let's go for a microburst. We do have some speed, which is gonna help this aircraft survive. Wind let's go. shear. Wind shear. We could just hear that. Oh yeah, it's falling. It's falling. It's <gasps> oh no. Hello passengers, thank you for flying American Airlines. Wait, is this surviving? Did this actually just survive? God damn it. AI is taking over. Should be just fine. Let's move on to a bigger plane. Let's go for a 747. You know, that's kind of more interesting, I guess. So yeah, I do have to admit, this plane is kind of big for the airport itself, but, um, you know, who cares? All right, let's go for a full power takeoff now. All right, it's rotate time. All right, that was a nice rotate. Let's go for our microburst right now. Let's go. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear is something different, though, even though it's as dangerous. <laughs> Apparently, we do have enough speed to still be alive. So I guess the bigger the aircraft is, the more chances you have of surviving. Quite obvious. So let's try a small aircraft now. Yeah, let's go for the Q400. That will be interesting. You know, the Q400 is a very nice plane, but it is very small. It's rotate time. Let's try a microburst now. Uh-oh. Can we have a crash? God damn it. Oh, but obviously microbursts have a lot more impact on smaller aircraft. So let's go even smaller. Let's try the Bombardier Challenger 300. We have a very special VIP on board. Let's get some microbursts in here. Let's go. Oh no, this thing is gonna fall like a stone. Oh wow. 
A few moments later. Okay, this might have not worked. Let's go even smaller. Let's try a Cessna 172. This will die already in the normal storm, so... Right, we are in a Cessna 172. We have a weird animation bug. Let's try a microburst now. We're gonna crash into the ocean. Ah, uh, that's not an ocean. That's a lake. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know we haven't flown the A380 for a while. Let's try. You know, the A380 is still a nice aircraft, even though it's kind of dead. Okay, we have Rota tape. That's awesome. Let's get a microburst in here now. Won't we notice any changes? Okay, we totally survived that without a problem. So what is the conclusion of this video? So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.